Say that again. <laughs> no, just say it. It was cute. Do you like this music? What's that? Just really quickly. Not good at this. Ah! Phones. Oh. I love old country music. Lovers really fall in love to stay. Stand beside each other. Okay. So, Daddy is gonna love that you love country music. Woo! We listen to Trisha Yearwood, and we've been listening to the Judds, and we listen to Terry Clark. All of you like old, I'm gonna turn this down. All of you old country fans know that's like super old. This is, this is an old Judd song. I grew up on country music. I grew up on old country music, and it will always have a special place in my heart. And the fact that she goes, mom, can we just stay and listen to this song, and then we'll go in? I was like, yes, yes we can. Cause I loved, I loved this song when I was little too. Anyway, we went on a what? A ride. A d Disney. A Disney? No, you and mommy went on a what? On uh, a date. Yes, and we went to the store and we that got- That was a date. Yes, it was. We went on a little date, we got our drinks and then we went to the stores. Did you have fun? Should we finish listening to our song and then go in? Yeah. Okay. Two hours later. Good morning, Chicklets. How are you guys doing? We are headed up to Papa Owl's so Baby Chick can go swimming with her cousins. She's trying to stay in us. She's trying to stay in us, Daddy. She's like, ugh, I'm locked in here. Get me out. <laughs> nope. No, nope. hey. Do you know who that is? So we come up to my dad's house and Mary has this poster slash puzzle lying on the floor in the entryway when we first come in. I put this poster together middle school, maybe like freshman year of high school, and it's just been sitting in my parents' house for years. They've moved houses like three times, yet they've still kept it. So before I throw it in the trash, I just had to immortalize it and say, isn't this an amazing poster? Goodbye, Darth Vader. Goodbye. All right, we've made it to the doctor's office for Ashley's 15, <laughs> sorry, 15 week update where we're not really sure what's going on. Are we doing an ultrasound or no? I have no idea. Maybe an ultrasound? Maybe not, we'll find out, Maybe but. just listen to the heart of the doctor. Either way, it's been a while. It's been like, what, two weeks, three weeks since we've been in? Five? Four? Five, seriously, five weeks? It's been a while, let's just say a month since we've been in here, so it'll be nice just to get a check up, see how things are progressing, see how baby chick number two looks in the belly, if we get to do an ultrasound. Belly. No, just say it. It was cute. <laughs> so the nurse just left and Ashley was laughing. As soon as the door closed, she turned and looked at me. She's like, I didn't have to take my pants off. Because <laughs> we were fully under the impression that we were going to have to do some sort of an exam or whatever. But apparently it's just checking blood pressure, getting her weight, talking about how she's feeling. So are you excited about that or no? <laughs> I was kind of hoping for, for an ultrasound, but you know, that's just me. I think we'll just do the heartbeat with the Doppler. Oh, uh, okay. That's cool. It's always a good time. Heartbeat is good. <laughs> Baby chick would love to play with this. Yeah, her Doc McStuffins. It won't hurt. Okay, look like you're really, really nervous. Really scared. Okay, now look like you're happy. No, happy. Not RBF or whatever that is. <laughs> So as I'm editing this, I'm realizing just how uninformative this whole 
video is. So since we never really told you about any of the results or anything like that, basically they didn't do any sort of uh, exams or tests or anything. We listened to the heartbeat, checked blood pressure, talked about how things were going and whatnot. Everything looks good. Heartbeat sounded good. Ashley's feeling good. Well, she's feeling as good as she can with morning sickness and all that. Yes, she still has morning sickness. Not as bad as it was in the first trimester, but this girl, she just can't have a good pregnancy. Her first pregnancy, ugh, don't even get me started. So I just feel horrible for her because it's like, there's nothing I can do. Like I can bring her water and get her things to help make her feel a little bit better, but she's just always feeling run down, tired. And then on top of that, she is her second pregnancy. So she's got the whole like, I'm showing earlier now. So she's like embarrassed about that whole thing. She's just got a lot of things going on, which I just feel horrible about because like I said, there's nothing I can do except for just be there. So anyways, hopefully it continues to get better and better as time goes on. And hopefully we continue to have good appointments like this where everything sounds good and looks good. And we really have nothing to report. So thumbs up, it was a good visit. Let's go pick up baby chick now. James, watch this! Let's see. Watch this, I'm going to James. No, okay. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, James, watch this. Okay, I'm watching. Go ahead. Nice. <laughs> Are you swimming all by yourself? Nice work, kiddo. And look at you, no life jacket. Such a big kid. Swim to me. Let me see how fast you can swim. Oh, I got it. I got it. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be go, 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 go. You bug, bug, bug. <laughs> you bug. Get away. It's just a bug. Jake, you're crazy. What? You're a crazy good swimmer. I am. Yeah, you are. I'm fast. You're pretty good. Can I see you jump in like Jakey did? 